pebbled bakers. Snow cone or shave ice is a fruity frozen treat that you generally have when you're on vacation in the sun. Well, in true bigger, bolder baking fashion, I'm gonna show you how you can make the exact same ones that you have on vacation at home, and it is really simple. So let's get started. So as always, the recipe for this can be found on biggerbolderbaking.com. Make sure you go check out my website because I've got tons of recipes over there, some that aren't even on YouTube. And if you're new to my channel, then welcome. And don't forget to tap that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Okay, shave ice, snow cones. Let's talk ice. So let's start out with our ice because that's the main ingredient for our snow cones. Now we're gonna put our ice into a blender. Now you can use any blender that you have at home. It will work really well. So in you go, on with your hat and then onto your machine. So you just wanna blend this up until the ice is really nice and light and shaved. Now, if you're seeing that your machine is having problems blending, add in a little splash of water into the bottom and it will actually give traction to the ice and it will help it blend much better, but only a tiny splash of water. Okay, so that only took around 10, 15 seconds and your ice is done. Look at that. So just get a spatula and pop it into a bowl. Do you see how it's really slushy? Okay, perfect. Now you're gonna pop this straight into the freezer and keep it frozen until we go to add our sauces. So now here's the fun part, the flavors. I'm gonna show you how you can make any flavor of sauce that you like. We're going to make a master recipe and then you can apply that to other fruits. So you have a variety of different flavors you can make. The best thing about these snow cones, they're made with all natural fruit and no corn syrup added. So let's start out with our fruit. Here I have some pineapple. Now all you want to do is just put that into a pot over medium heat and then we're going to add some sugar. So now you just want to let this simmer for around two to three minutes until it breaks down and it forms a sauce. Feel free to break down the fruit with the back of a spatula just to help the sauce along. Okay, my pineapple has softened and it's been simmering for around three to four minutes. So now I'm gonna take it off and put it into my food processor. So you just wanna blend this up until it is really smooth and all the pineapple has broken down. So the reason that I did pineapple first is because I always think of this as kind of a tropical treat. So like pineapple and shave ice go really well together. Okay, that's it, our first flavor, ready to go, took no time at all. Now I'm just gonna set this aside and let it go totally cold. So my sauce has cooled down, my ice is ready to go, so now I'm gonna assemble my snow cone. Now when you go to make yours, do your sauces up first, get them all ready, and then at the very last minute, do your ice, and that's when you'll have best results. So I'm gonna pack my ice into my frozen bowl, and then I have my pineapple sauce that has cooled down. And there you go, my favorite part of the job. Oh, oh, yum. Mmm, I think I'm onto a winner with these guys. That is so good. So as far as fruit flavors go, raspberry has to be my all-time favorite. So that's the next snow cone we're going to make. Add your fruit into the saucepan. You can use fresh or frozen berries. That is totally fine. Add in your sugar, and then just bring this to a simmer and let it simmer for roughly three minutes until it forms a sauce. So we don't have snow cones in Ireland. What we have is a Mr. Frosty or Mr. Slushy. They're really good, they're the exact same. When I was a kid, every single Christmas we asked for a Mr. Frosty machine. You used to be able to make your own snow cones at home and you had the flavors and everything, but we never ever got one. So maybe Kevin might buy me one. <laughs> Just like the other sauce, stir it around and then bash down the fruit with your spatula to get it to release its juices. Now, when it comes to your sugar, you can alter the sweetness depending on how much you like. And if you also don't want to use white sugar, you can try put agave or something in there or even stevia or a more natural sugar and that will work really well too. Okay, this is looking great. The raspberries have broken down and it's forming its sauce. Now I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna pour it into my food processor. Now the reason that I'm doing this is because I want to get rid of any lumps that are in there. So on with our hat and then just blend it up until it's nice and smooth. It only takes a few seconds. Okay, so this is looking good. Now the last thing I want to do with this is actually sieve it because raspberry is loaded with seeds. So I want to get them all out of there so we get a nice smooth sauce. I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but raspberry flavor traditionally is always blue, which is so crazy. But I think it's because they try to differentiate it from strawberries, but raspberry flavor should not be blue. It should be looking like this. Okay, that's my sauce. It's nice and cold, so we can add it over our ice. Go ahead and generously spoon your raspberry sauce over the top of your ice. Look at that, how it soaks into the ice. It's so pretty. Now, if you find that your sauce is a little bit thick, add a tiny bit of water to it. That will work really well too, just to thin it out and help it soak into all that ice. I think I love raspberries so much because the flavor is amazing, but the color is so vibrant. Just look how pretty that is. Even the smell of this is delicious. Mmm. Look how beautiful it is and how all of it soaked right through the ice. I tell you what, you always think when you're on vacation, like I can never have these when I'm at home, but you are so wrong. They are super easy to make. 
and so delicious. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so we made two flavors and let's see what other flavors we can make. So the most common snow cone that you see when you're on vacation is a rainbow colored one with lots of different colors and different fruits. I'm going to show you how you can do that. We already have yellow from pineapple, red from the raspberry. So now I'm going to show you how we're going to get purple and orange and it's going to look beautiful. So just like before, add some blueberries into a pot with some sugar, then simmer for three minutes. Once your sauce has formed, pour it into your food processor and blend it up until it's nice and smooth. Next, pass it through a sieve to remove any bits of skin. And there is your purple sauce. So now for our orange color. Into your saucepan, add in some mangoes, and then we're going to add some sugar. And then just like before, simmer for three minutes. You'll know it's ready because you'll see the sauce forming. Then remove it from the heat and pour it into your food processor and blend until it's a nice smooth sauce. You do not need to sieve this color because it has no seeds and it has no skin, so it will be nice and smooth by itself. Okay, now we have our orange color and let's bring them all together. So now we have all of our colors and I'll tell you what I did. I put them into a squeezy bottle. Now I'm gonna put a link on my website of where you can buy these, they're really inexpensive. And I'm gonna have my ice right here. I've mounded it up. Then I'm gonna take my squeezy bottle and do a line of each flavor. So there is raspberry, pineapple, blueberry oh this is going to taste so good and then of course mango so you got a little bit of tropical you got lovely and sweet in there this is going to be absolutely gorgeous look at that while you're on your summer vacation or taking holidays take some time out to do some baking and make fun recipes just like this one and remember you can make any flavor that you want to this is so simple it's ice fruit a little bit of sweetness this is such a fantastic treat for the summertime when it's hot out. This is guaranteed to cool you down and it takes no time to make at all. I really hope you try this recipe out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back here really soon for more bigger, bolder baking.